see if I can do this without dropping them. You can see I definitely... Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Colin, I'm a non-binary scientist and lover of makeup, and today I'm going to be doing a brand review for Trixie Cosmetics. So I have quite a bit of Trixie's products, a um, little bit of everything, so I thought it'd be a nice way to give my thoughts on the different formulas and things that they've come out with. So if you don't already know, Trixie Cosmetics is owned by Trixie Mattel, the drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, started a couple years ago with like a lipstick and some glitter, I think, and they've just really expanded uh, since then. They just came out with their third eyeshadow palette last week, and I already bought it. I got on exactly at 10 o'clock and ordered it on Friday, and I think it's supposed to be here tomorrow or Wednesday. It says Wednesday, but it's in Seattle already, so generally with the post office, when it says one day, but it's already in town, it'll be here a day early, so I'm excited for that. So that video is coming later this week once I get that and can film it. Um, but I have a little bit of everything from the brand so far. Um, I have a lot of their lip glosses, I realized today. I have a bin with all of my lip glosses and most of my lipsticks as well. I don't have that many lipsticks. And I pulled all my Trixie ones out <laughs> to film this and realized it's almost empty without them. Um, so I have quite a few of those. Um, so Trixie says that the mission behind Trixie Cosmetics was to make pro formula makeup, but in really cute packaging. And you'll see as I go through these that they definitely have done that. The packaging is perfectly adorable and I love it. The first thing that I'll mention is the glitters. So there's two types of glitters that they sell. The website has most of them out of stock or just doesn't even show them so i don't know if they're like discontinuing i know they have a habit of taking things off the website when they're out of stock but then bringing them back in stock and putting them back on the website versus just having them say out of stock um, and they post all of their restock updates and everything on uh instagram and twitter and stuff um but they have two glitter formulas so they have this kind which is called sprinkles and this one is Sparkles. So the Sprinkles I have one of. So they had a collaboration between Trixie and Katya, the, uh, another drag queen from Drag Race. They have a YouTube, very, very popular YouTube channel, uh, YouTube series, I should say, not channel. Um, and so they did a whole red Russian theme for Katya. So this is from that. This is called Russian Doll. Um, and you can see what I mean about the packaging. It's adorable got these little dog faces on it. So the sprinkles are big chunky glitter. So this is face and body glitter. So this is little stars, little red stars. And you can see it's very big. So it's not supposed to be used around your eyes at all. Um, the sparkles, those are cosmetic grade glitter that you can use on your face. Um, and I have two shades of these. And these are really nice. I've only used them a few times each because I don't really wear glitter that much, but when I want to wear glitter, I'm glad I have them. I mean, you can see these also have an adorable little dog on them. And these come in these little diamond things. So you can see this one is pink with like, I don't want to open it and get glitter everywhere, but this one's pink. This one's 1969. It's pink with like an orangey yellow reflect running through it. It's really pretty. Okay. Um, the other one I have, so the other one I have is called Carol Ann, and that's just this really pretty silver. Um, I think it's got a bit of a multicolored thing going on. So it it's, looks silver here, but when the light hits it, you see rainbow effect. And I, like I said, I don't wear glitter very often, but when I want to wear it, I really like that I have these and they look really beautiful on the eye. So for lips, they have a few different formulas, both in lipsticks and in lip glosses. Uh, I have mostly mattes for the lipsticks, but they also have one that's like a sheer glaze of color. And it kind of, it's like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss in my opinion. And then they have a new creamy one that I want, but I just haven't grabbed. Um, so the first shade I have is Bobble, which is really cute. It's a nice peachy nude. It's really light on me though, so I definitely need a darker lip liner with this. And then I have Stacy's Mom, which is my favorite, and it is a bright pink. 
Um, so like this with some like basic eyeliner, mascara, and this is a look that I really love, especially for like a Zoom call. And then the red one that came out with Katia's is called Red Scare, which was the name of the collection. And it is this really beautiful red shade. So Stacy's Mom and Red Scare are both a matte formula, but they're really comfortable. I would say they're kind of like the one MAC lipstick I have. That's like, it's a matte, but it's not like a drying matte. It's a comfort, comfort matte. So it doesn't transfer, but it doesn't feel drying or crack on your lips. And it lasts for a really long time and looks really pretty. So these are both really great lipsticks. So for lip gloss, they have three formulas. So they have a full coverage lip gloss, which looks like a shiny liquid lipstick. So it does transfer because it's a lip gloss, but it's very opaque. It looks really great. I just don't grab for this as much because I'm a snacker and I'm constantly drinking things. So if I'm drinking out of like a reusable water bottle, I don't want lip gloss all over it. If I'm drinking out of a can, like a can of bubbly water, sure, whatever. Um, or if I'm not gonna be eating or drinking for a while and I want something that looks really pretty and impactful, I'll grab this. They're really comfortable. I have two shades. I have this interesting like mauve oxblood shade and then snow cone, which is this really bright orangey color. Um, and they're really comfortable. They just, I don't like things that transfer, especially that are opaque and transfer that much. And then they have a medium coverage gloss. So I have two of those. I have High Ponytail, which is a uh, pink with like a gold glitter in it. And it, it's also really comfortable. It has enough coverage that it looks like you're wearing gloss, but it's not like, no, it's not opaque. Um, and then I have this red, which was a holiday exclusive. And I think both of these have glitter running through them um, versus the opaque full coverage glosses that are just met like a solid color. And then the final category of lip gloss is their sheer lip gloss. And this is my favorite. I have four of these right now and I have two more of these and another full coverage coming in in that new order. So part of the, the new collection, the Plant Gay collection was a palette and three glosses. Two of them are this sheer sparkly gloss and one is a red pink full coverage. Um, so I'm excited for those. So I have four of these and you can definitely see this red one is my favorite. So these three are all sparkly. So there's I'm Baby, which is this like nude bronzy one. Um, Melodrama, which is this pink, and then this one is Prism, which is a purple. So these are fairly sheer, mostly just the glitter. Um, so I'm actually wearing a combination of I'm Baby and S Prism. I keep almost saying Synth, which is another gloss from them I didn't grab. Um, but these are really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit more of the purple. And you can see this is like purple and blue. Um, it's really, these are really pretty and really comfortable. And then the last one in this that I have is Scarlet Letter, which was part of that Kati collection and is a sheer red. So if you look at my Instagram, I have a lot of photos with this up. I'll try to find one and insert it here. But this is my favorite lip gloss in my entire collection. If I, if they, this was limited edition and I don't think they're going to bring it back. But if they do, I'm going to buy like five because I love this. My best friend loves it too. She has one and it's like my daily go-to. It's just enough red that it like makes your lips look really beautiful. Um, and like a little bit of a pigment, but it just makes them, it's like a your lips but better, but a little bit of a red tint to it. And it's, it's just perfect and I love it. And I used half of it really quickly and now I kind of sparingly use it because I don't want it to die. <laughs> And if anybody from Trixie Cosmetics watches this or sees this, please, please, please bring back Scarlet Letter. I'm begging you, I need another, I need a backup or three because it's, it's just so good. And then I have all three of their blush palettes and one of their eyeshadow palettes. So they've released three so far. The first eyeshadow palette was small. It was like a six pan and it was blue and it was really cute. I just didn't get it. I have a lot of blue eyeshadow. Um, this was their second one that I have here. And the third one is the one that's coming in probably tomorrow. <clears throat> but 
But their first palettes that they released were the blushes. So I have all three of those. And you can see they're all basically the same size and shape. I, the eyeshadow palette's a little bit smaller this way and a little bit taller if you stack them. Like it sticks up just a little bit, like tiny bit, a couple centimeters. I wish they were all exactly the same size. I like that they all match and they almost all line up. Um, I wish they were all unified, like the same shape. Even though I store blush and eyeshadow separately, it would just be pleasing to me to have them all exactly the same. So for the eyeshadow palette, I'll do that first because I only have the one. It's what I'm wearing today. So this is the Bottle Blondes. This is currently out of stock, but I did see on Instagram that they they responded to someone who said, will it be coming back in stock? And they said, yes. So it's not like a limited one time only thing. Um, but this is just so cute. So it's all neutral tones and then these purples. And then of course it's Trixie. So there had to be a bright pink. Um, and the naming convention that goes along with everything kind of goes with the shade names too. So like the light purple is purple shampoo, bottle blondes, everything's punny and jokey. Um, peroxide for the white shade. They, she definitely spends uh, probably more time than, <laughs> than is healthy naming these things. Um, but this is a really beautiful palette. I really like the formula with this and that's why I immediately grabbed the new one. So the new one is teals, greens, and then some other pinks and it's all plant themed and it looks so cute. I can't wait to get it. Um, so today I have purple shampoo. I've got bangs or I got bangs um, all over my crease. I used blowout, which is this really pretty kind of plum shade. I have that on the outer corner to deepen it. And then I put polished, which is this really pretty lavender it's a very bright lavender. Um, it looks kind of white on film, but it, it looks like a, a lilac-y lavender shade in person. And then I have a little bit of wig um, over here. So I really like this formula. I like the mattes more than the shimmers. I think the shimmers are pretty, but not like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm wearing this kind of pretty. They're just a good shimmer, a good metallic. Um, this mauve mentality one is the best of the three. So this one only has three shimmers. Uh, this is the best of the three. You, I did get some glitter fallout when I put it on. So I was glad I did my face last because I just had to wipe that off, but it was really beautiful. So I'll swatch that. It's really soft compared to the other two as well. It's definitely a different formula, but it's, it's really reflective really pretty, this like bronze mauve shade. I don't have any other shade like that in my collection. Smoothed it out a little bit. It's, it's so pretty. Um, I've done some looks with this. I've used every shade in this palette and there's not a dud. They all work really beautifully. They're pigmented, they're blendable. Um, they feel soft. They're not as silky soft as some other palettes that I have, but they're really good. And these are really great purples. So I know purple is supposed to be really hard to formulate. I've had zero issues with these two purples. They go on pigmented, they don't get patchy, they blend easily, they last all day. Like Trixie definitely knows what she's doing. I mean, she's a drag queen and drag queens generally pack on makeup and then dance around and sweat for hours <laughs> with a lot of heavy makeup. So you would think she would come out with products that would last a while and she definitely did. And I'm, I'm really happy about this. I can't wait to try the new one. Uh, and then the last three things that I have from Trixie are her blushes. So there have been three. So this is the Summer of Love palette. This is Mod About You. And this is Back to the Fuchsia. So you can definitely see she likes puns. I think one of the shades in the new palette is Thorny on Main because her staff wouldn't let her name a shade Horny on Main, so she named it Thorny on Main because it's plant themed, and I love that. Um, so the this is the order they came out in. So the first one is Summer of Love, and it's pink. It's cute. This highlighter is really pretty. It's like, it looks icy white here, but it's got a bit of a pink shift through it. 
um, and that's what I have on my face today. I definitely don't reach for this that much because it's so light, but you can see that pink shift. Um, but it is really pretty and it worked well today. Um, and then the blushes I have on, I have a combination of these and the purples. So you've got, a, each palette has a light shade and a deep shade and then a highlighter. Um, so this is pinks. Um, these are really pigmented and really blendable. And then my favorite, and the one I reach for all the time, and you'll t you can tell when you look at it, is Mod About You. So this came out this summer. Love the packaging, so cute. And then it's oranges, which is why it's my favorite. So it's this darker, more vibrant orange, more of a muted orange that you could anybody could wear daily and no one would be like, whoa, you have orange on your face. And then this highlighter is kind of a champagne bronze and is really nice. Um, this is way more subtle than the others. I really like it as like a go-to daily highlight. The formula is really soft. This one's less in your face, as you can see. These are definitely the two blushes I reach for the most next to my orangey melt cream blushes. So I definitely have a type. And then the newest one is this Back to the Fuchsia, which is all 80s themed. And this is the same collection that had the purple lip gloss and this like purpley ox blood um, lip gloss. Forgot the word lip gloss for a minute. Um, and this is, so this, if you can tell from the packaging, is purple blushes and a purple highlighter. So you've got this lighter lilac purple that looks really great on the skin. So I have that all over right here. And then I used this darker kind of plummy mauve and then the dark pink from the pink palette, Summer of Love palette up here mixed together. Since I did a purple look, I figured I'd do cool tones. And then the highlight from this is what I have on my inner corner. So the highlight from this is, you can see, it looks just like an icy and reflective when you swatch it out. It looks way more intense and intimidating in the pan. Um, so this is one of the best blush formulas I've tried. Granted, I haven't tried that many, you know, a good handful. But I definitely prefer these over my ColourPop, which I know people love. I like this over some of the other ones that I swatched. I like these more than the Urban Decay blush that I've tried. Um, they're just, they're blendable. They look really great. And I like that she always does a more muted wearable shade, quote unquote, and then a darker, more intense shade. So you can use both, you can combine them. If you're a darker skin tone, you've got a nice deep blush to use or a more vibrant blush, I should say. Um, so I'd got the orange one first because I couldn't help myself and I just didn't think I needed the pink one. And then I loved it so much that when Back to the Fuchsia came out, I grabbed the Summer of Love as well. So now I have all three. Um, so, so far, nothing I've tried from Trixie has been a dud. Everything has been great, um, comfortable, works well, um, pigmented. The only complaints that I have are really shade things like this shade's really light. She has a lot of these light pinky nude shades. Um, and so that doesn't, I feel like if you're lighter than me or if you're darker than me, they work really well, but I'm in the middle. I'm in that medium skin tone and they just, without a darker lip liner, just look a little weird. And I don't wear the full coverage lip glosses that much just because it's, I don't want it to transfer, but they are really comfortable and they look really nice. So that's not really a complaint on the formula. That's just, personal preference. So let's see if I can do this without dropping, but you can see I definitely love her lip gloss formula. I uh, keep all my lip glosses in a bin, and when I pulled these out to film, I was like, oh, that's most of the bin. And I have three more coming, so I have a problem. But they're so comfortable, they look so good, and whenever I wear them, let's see if I can set those down. <laughs> Whenever I wear them, I get a lot of compliments um, and people ask me what lip gloss I have on. So I love them. I think they're adorable, little heart shape. Everything's, everything's cute.
So um, let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything from Tracy Cosmetics. I don't really see it talked about on YouTube that much. I see it on Instagram a fair bit, especially among queer people that I know that use makeup, but I don't see it in like the regular beauty YouTube or beauty space that much. Um, and I think that's a shame because I think it's really great quality. I think people are just maybe turned off by the childish cutesy packaging. I think that's a perk. Also, let me know what you think of this look. I'm really happy with this. I've done multiple looks with this palette and I've loved everything I've done so far and I can't wait to try the new one when it gets here this week. So expect a video of that up soon and I hope everybody has a great day and a great week and I will see you in my next video.